Hi guys. Sorry. Hi. My little bow. It's not the best bow I ever did. It's actually kind of bad. There's just one little piece that's not in it, so I curled it. We're gonna want to make a video. But this is just a video of my everyday, um, my everyday makeup. As you guys can see, I'm not wearing any makeup whatsoever. None. And I do have a video of my, I don't know if my foundation video is up, because it was before I set it, so I could have my videos more than 15 minutes long, and then it was more than 15 minutes long, and then it said it was too long, so I set it so it was private, and so yeah, I guess you guys can't see it. And it was really stupid, so it's pointless. And then I'm doing my eye makeup, like how it is in my everyday eye, natural tutorial. Neutral eye kind of thing. But last but not least, let's just get started so this video is not too long. I'm using my mineral, mineral, mineral infused face primer, and I'm only using two pumps. I use about two pumps, yeah. I don't like this one since I have this one, but I should use, um, uh, uh, primer too much. One, because it doesn't keep all my makeup that much. It does keep it on after the day. That's what I like, but it kind of makes my face feel greasy. And it feels kind of greasy in it. So, oh, sorry. So I don't really like. I don't really like it too much. Ow! What was that? Whatever. You can't. But I let that sit in so it dries up, dries a little. I just like putting it on when it's still wet. And so I just put on my eye primer. And this is also by e.l.f. It's e.l.f. Eyelid Primer in Sheer. I don't know why it's in the color one, because it's just the two. But whatever. I like it, because then I don't have to do the base color. But I am going to be, for my blush, my foundation, all that type of stuff. All my blush and my foundation. These all fit me. I just not really. These all fit me. This I just got and I'm already in love with it. This I've had for a while, as you can see, it's already at pan. And this I've had for a little bit, and these are both in 120, and this is in, um, what, Mars? Not in a number. Oh, yes, it is. It's in 106. Yeah, so I'm just going to take this and I'm going to screw off the lid, of course, and I'm just going to take, um, I take my paper cups and I cut them, it's not, I take like a paper cup and I cut them into little pieces so I can pour it on. Some people like to put it on the back of your hand, you can do that, I just don't like to because if you don't wash your hands before, if you do this with me, I did wash my hands. So you're catching on some other stuff and germs, bacteria and stuff. And this is a brand new sponge. I mean, it does have a dot or two because um, I don't know why it has it, but it's brand new. I literally just got it out of my packet. And I only use these like twice. And I only use them. We'll see. But I just throw it out. I am using my Elf Special Foundation Brush. And it is clean. I just cleaned it last night. It still does look dirty ish. I don't know why, but it's clean. Just put it under my eyeball. Put it on her. Put it on her. Put it. Did you see that? I just dropped it. That's so weird. Man. I dropped the spoon. Good thing it landed on um my uh, bag. 
Dollar General bag. So it's just kind of fight everywhere and spread it out. Don't blend it into a stadium. Okay. The keys. I don't use a concealer. If you use a concealer, you can go ahead and use it. Um. There's no specific reason why I don't use the concealer. I have concealers to use. And if you see me continuously looking at the hair, look in the mirror, sorry. But I don't use a concealer because it's just dumb. I don't know. I don't, I don't know why I don't. I mean, I do sometimes. Some of the days I don't. I don't know why. I just kind of don't. Just don't. But as you can see, I use... All of what I put on. So I let my face is not wet, blended into my skin there as you can see. So I'm just using my sponge thingy and I'm blending it into my skin. All the lips, my lash line. Right here, I like to be gentle because this part of your skin is pretty sensitive, the under part of your skin. This video might be long, sorry. But that's all I do for my liquid for portion of my video. So let's get started on the other part of my life. So I'm gonna be using the Fit Me Press powder from Classic Ivory. It comes with a little thing and I already used it like once and I'm not gonna use it again. Because of that, but I'm just keeping it in there. I don't know why. But it's cute. It's a little more. It looks so cute. But I just got this at Target for um five five ninety something. It's the same price as the Fit Me. So if you guys saw that haul where that was in, you guys can see it. I just oh so why am I getting any? It's on this side, and I wasn't looking at it, and I was just going like this, and I realized I was just rubbing against this. That's so embarrassing. I'm so embarrassed. I need my brush. I didn't do a haul with this. This is the only thing I got. If I get more stuff soon, I'll. I guess I'll incorporate it in the home, but I probably won't. And what is this? New software is available from Ample, blah, 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 blah. I don't want no software being there. I am doing just fine and dandy with mine. That's embarrassing. You guys didn't see it. It's so embarrassing. Okay. So, this. Is my Fit Me Blush in 106 or whatever it's named. I don't know. This is the back. So if you guys know what it, you know it's just it's it's really pretty. It's very light and it's um sparkly. It's really cute. I have very some different blushes. I just kind of go with the flow. All I do is I'm on your I would love to tell you what this brush is. In this business it's an elf brush, I can tell you that yet. But it had um its own stick. But it, as you can see it's coming off. But it can't 
stick was too small that to fit in it and it kept on falling off. And this was part of this thing. So I just stuck it in it. I was like, whatever. So, you know, I'll just get there. Think about it. Just taking this and blending it in. That's my foundation and blush. Yeah. Fit me. I usually don't do that. I want to try the Maybelline bounce um the bouncy blushes. Um, but I just didn't get a chance to go out and get them. Actually, I could have got it when I was at Target, but I didn't. So if you guys think it's really good, please tell me what you think of it. Be completely honest. A lot of people said it. I've seen good reviews on it, so I guess I'm, I will try it. If I don't like it, I don't like it. It's NBD, but it's so cool. It like smells. Like, I touched it before. Oh, it's so dorky. I have my friends. Okay, well, I'm starting out with my eyeballs now, and I'm just using my Revlon color stay and my natural cash, whatever. So, I'm just blending it with the top filler. As I said in my one video, these two are being put to kind of blend it in together. Kind of. Kind of. Putting it on my layer. Again, my mirror is right here. I'm not like looking off in the middle. And I don't wear eyeliner on the top that often. So mm -hmm. lots to go ahead and do that. Do whatever one you want to. It doesn't matter to me. It's not gonna make a difference to me. I just prefer not to for two reasons. I'm not good at applying it. And the other one is I I don't like to. So I'm just using my MAC, um, Smoke This Green All Over, whatever it is, Smoke This All Over, whatever it is, because that's what it looks like. Again, this is the same eye I did in my Everyday Eye tutorial. So, you guys already watched that video. I guess you guys can go ahead and skip through it. This part of the video. I don't care what you do. You can skip this part because you already saw it. But you know, whatever. I don't care what you do. This video is just trying to be a super tan. I hope not. So I just kind of apply it on the outer part of my lid. I'm trying to move this video so it looks like I'm trying to move this camera. But, um, just on the outer part of my lid, I stop about right here. I don't know, I just kind of stopped and just takes the middle. But, for my, uh, the other color on the other side, I use, it's Lemongrass, and it's by Mary Kay. Yeah. But, none of these videos I've been making have been requested, and... I would really like it for you guys to request videos. I will do whatever you guys request. Maybe not right away, but I will work on it. I am going to be doing a tutorial. I just have to figure out how I like to wear it, how I want to wear them. With these two purples, I'm going to figure something out for them because they're really, really pretty. I would tell you what color they're in, but I don't know what they are, and I feel like it's going to be a lot of work. Again, I'm going to be using the same Revlon palette I was using before, and I'm just using this bang, the highlight color. This video is probably going to be a somewhat longer video than the usual video. So I just put it on, and I feel like I'm going to put it in the middle. That's all I did for my eyeshadow. Nothing special. I just like it because it brings out my eyes. That's the only reason why I don't like it. But I am going to be applying my eyeliner on my waterline. It's the Maybelline Eye Studio 
in black is black. Ah! I just like ruined my brush. But it's the angled eyes flannel brush by Elf. It's a little polka dot kind. Of, so cute. <laughs> Most of my brushes are Elf brushes. Elf and Echo tools. I just took part to the waterline. I take the same sponge that I was using before and I just kind of get whatever kind of comes down too far. I know you guys may think that's weird, but just what I do. Just so it's not like down here. I just kind of take whatever doesn't look okay. But what I do is truly have no special back to what I do to my face and stuff, whatever. But I'm not completely done with my eyeliner yet. Yeah. Now I gotta get the white um, eyeliner by Elf. Shimmery, that's what it looks like. I don't know what it's called. It doesn't say on the side. Um, yeah. And I just put it around my tear duct. And a little bit under my eye lash. A little bit right there. Now I'll do this side for you guys. Actually, yeah, it's my first time doing it like this. But I can't see what I'm doing. I'm doing my neck with this so you guys can see what I'm doing. Just putting it around like this. And bringing it under a little. Again. Nothing complete. So I'm going to say it again. Nothing to it really. Just plopped on. Actually, yeah, I'm sorry. Just plopped on. I'm taking um my Echo Smudge Tool. My Echo Tools Smudge Brush. I'm just smudging it a little. Kind of blending it in. Not where it's at. Okay. See, I, I get so confused with the camera on my. Well, this is a really long video. Whoa! Whatever. So now I'm using my volume to find spool definition by L'Oreal. And I usually don't curl my eyelashes, but when I do, I'm, I use a Maybelline eyelash curl. I go back and forth between mascaras, so I just go with whatever I'm grabbing. And I know in the haul that I have this in, I said it was um, a good mascara, but it don't apply a lot of length. And after I used it a while, it start actually I started to realize it did give more length than I said it did. As you guys can see, it gives actually a good amount of length. Like, see, this has two strokes to the side. And that's, you can't see it, but there's a lot of length. I know you people say how much you can do, like, two coats, but I do it until I feel I like it, and it looks even with the other eye. So, as long as the first, first eye comes out, that's how the second eye looks. I know this is two sisters, not twins, but they're going to be... As close as they get, they're gonna be like I look alike. You can't see the top eyelashes on the side, it's annoying me. Oh, well, whatever. Can you now? Dude, there's mascara right there. That's some burr. There's whatever. You, you know what? Whatever. Really? Whatever.
okay, well, I'm just gonna be doing well. This is where I keep all my eyeliners in. Uh, lip liners and stuff, that's why I really can do it. Just get in my, uh, uh, Veda Juliet. This is in my lips. How I do my lips video. I just realized I have a video for almost everything except my skin, and I guess I just, this video is just me putting it all together again. I'm just using my surgeon, like I used in that video. My cousin, she watched it, and she, she asked me, she's like, "What's up with that big chapstick you got going on?" I was like, it's just my um surgeon. It's just chapstick, really. It's just. Oversized chapstick. And again, I just apply it to my lips all over them. This video is 20 minutes long. Oh my gosh, I'm a little bit. I have no friends. I don't want to make videos to say. This is in my Burt's Bee and Sweet Pink. I got this at Target a while ago. But, that's the end of my video. That's all I do for my makeup, my eyes, my lips, and my face. Again, nothing overly fancy. This is my everyday look. I don't always do my lips every day, and I don't always use blush, but you know. But this is basically my everyday look. This is more of my everyday look. But again, subscribe, comment, and like, and stuff. And follow me on Twitter. My thing will be in the uh, description box. So, yay. Oh, and everything that I used will be linked in the description box. Oh my god, there's going to be so much to type. Oh, I hate it. I always put them in, and I always say I don't. I always forget to say I do, and then it annoys me, because people probably don't even look at it. Whatever. I have to write all oh, what I used. I'm going to kill myself. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not. Okay, well, bye bye. This video is already too long. So, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and my Twitter thingy will be in the description box because I don't know how to link.